A buzz in Central Texas tonight as all eyes are on San Marcos. The Texas State Bobcats have the primetime game tonight on ESPN against Arizona State in San Marcos. That game going on right now. But as Arnabil Ramadna found out, the team's success also means success for local businesses. It's game day for the Texas State Bobcats. How are you? And fans are stopping by their favorite stores for some last minute swag. 86.55. This crew from Houston. Go Cats. The football team's recent success has them gathering on their old stomping grounds to take in a game. And we're excited about the football team. It's Thursday night nationally televised game, so we're coming back to uh, check it out. Aaron Chavez back in town to cheer on his team as well. When I was an undergrad, we weren't winning very much. Like I said, it definitely brings the morale up, brings the spirits up, uh, brings more attention to us. The city says the recent success of the football team has been good for business and all that attention is good for the local economy. Winning games definitely bring excitement and generate traffic and generate money for our city. Right across from the courthouse, cafe on the square. Just crazy busy. General Manager Esther Hink says they've seen a boost in business, especially for this Thursday game. Visit all the places that they used to eat and spend time, and so we get to see people that we haven't seen in a long time, and it's it's very exciting. With the game being on ESPN, more eyes will be on San Marcos. And the city plans to highlight some of its more popular areas. Tonight's a national stage. We'll have some promotional video during that time frame and showing off our beautiful San Marcos River and our great downtown. While there's still a long season ahead, many Bobcat fans and the city are excited about the future. It's unbelievable how much the school's grown. I mean, it's it's doubled and then some from when you know I was here. In San Marcos, Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. Giving some context right now, the university continues to grow. This fall, Texas State announced a record enrollment topping 40,000 students. It's a more than 4.5% increase from the year before. A big change from over the last five years when during the pandemic, the campus enrolled fewer than 38,000 students. Another sign of change at Texas State, a literal new sign of an updating tradition. Just last night, University President Kelly Damphouse lit the new Victory Star. This one is on top of the administration building. Look at that. The star dates back to 1936 when a large star was added to a water tower as a Christmas decoration. In the 1940s, the university says a night watchman found it in storage and then returned it to the water tower and dubbed it the Victory Star to light after football game wins. Last night, it was led, uh, lit in red, white, and blue in honor of Patriot Day.